And then we, so we have to like unlock a few more things, I think, and then we'll be on our way to save Sherry. Is that that little girl's name? Sherry. Sherry sounds right. Yeah. So that was actually pretty eventful. That lab is pretty neat. There's some cool stuff there. But uh, yeah, let me know if uh, I think it sounds, it might be a little loud. Nah, it seems okay. We're all good here. Now it's time to get into that chill mode that I like to be in. Mm, doesn't ring a bell at the moment. <laughs> it's all good, man. And thank you, Sky and Lyft, for the host. I really appreciate that. Let's do some stuff. Did I figure out my ornaments before I ended the stream last time? Maybe. Let's find out. Who's on our team? Aggie, Chloe, Joshua, and Estelle. Our good, good boys. Aggie, you need something. Uh, move one. <clears throat> That's not going to do anything for anybody. Oh well, good enough. Until something bad happens. Oh, we bought... Yeah, we didn't have any money. That's what it is. 609. Oh man, also, before I started this uh, stream, I checked my gameplay hours in Trails in the Sky SC. And I'm at 69 hours, so I definitely took a picture of that. Aw, oh, yeah. It's the best number. <laughs> it's magical 69. Hmm. Always A, B, C. Always be classy. But first, always be foxy. Always be foxily. Like in foxily. Rainy. Hey, it's all good, Rainy. ABF, always be foxly. Last tower. Keep going, guys. You can do it. Hello, Stuzzy. That number is significant because the number before is 70. Ready to go down? Descend on the left. Aw, oh, there it is. Sky gets it. <laughs> Thanks, M. I appreciate the bits and Stuzzy. Thank you. You guys are just cheering me on. I appreciate it. You know what to do, and guys, may Ideos be with you. 73 is a good number. <laughs> also, why is 73 a good number, Uro? Ambrel Tower. Oh, um, because that's the game you bought. You you picked that one, huh? Hey, it's Quacks. How you doing, my friend? It's the RuneScape world. Oh, that's that's nice, Kura. That's just like a turn into a positive memory. So far, Blue Blanc, Walter, Luciola, and oh yeah, I think we're doing Ren right now. But uh, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well tonight. Or today. This afternoon. The last tower, finally. You think they might be nice twice in a row and give us a straight up pass so we don't get lost? That's, it's nice, nice that she mentioned the fact that we did have a kind of easy time with the last tower. Midnight chill time here. That's already too late. <laughs> so you're like six hours ahead of me. It won't be so nice if they use powerful guardians instead of sharp turns. 609 here. It'll be dark soon. We should hurry as quickly as we can. Yeah, we've got to stop Bren. Everyone, come on. Let's do this. Let's. Right. It really sucks that it's so late for you guys when these streams happen. I wonder if... uh. Early day tomorrow. 
do them chores, and thank you for hanging out and stopping by. I appreciate you as always. I'm wondering if, like, maybe for a third chapter, we could rework the schedule so you guys don't have to be up so late. Maybe make this like a game that we do Saturday mornings or something uh, for like four hours. Then just like not do it during the weekdays. Eh. I mean, it doesn't make a difference either way. Oh, keep on cleaning the end. Yeah, here we go again, Quacks, exactly. Like, let's beat up some robots. As a play thing for this, as for the fans. Yep, exactly. I'm like, you know, I know that uh, you guys, you'll prefer this game, which I do too. So, but I mean, I'm the one that gets to play it, so I'm having a great time. Just pure mob mashing. I like that term. Gotta mash that, mash that mob. You're supposed to kill. That's all. That was the goal there. Yeah, cool. Whatever. The rabbit. Although the long stories there are really long. <laughs> Estelle's gonna get, she's getting there. She's doing her best. Hmm. I'm in a real good mood today, you guys. As always, I'm so appreciative of you guys hanging out with me. Hell, if you'll stream for one story. <laughs> I reckon if you read them out. <laughs> you might be right. When you think about it, aren't we all a little empty inside? You be charge three. No matter where you go or what events you witness, you can rest easy knowing that this chest will always be here for you. Well, that's just nice. That's just a nice little moment, me and that chest head. <laughs> Doing his best. <laughs> that's, that's very good. Turn your back on me, dude. There you go. Start with a small fry. Oh, a crit. I feel like these enemies are meant to help you build up your CP. So I have the death blow actually. Like uh, the orb meant for death blow? Or like, cause I think I'm, I'm sure, I, I'm pretty confident I have one. I don't think I've used it because yeah, I got death blow, but it, cause it breaks, which is concerning. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there, I'm pretty sure there's a death blow one. I don't, I might not have it. But I'm pretty sure it's accessible. Is there a chapter still in the series? I'm gonna help go steal my cost. Well, I can see how to buy the Japanese version. Yes, Lithesis. Yeah, that's dumb. I mean, because I think that's the time to play that part of the series, right? Is uh, between you know trails in the sky and the uh, in cold steel. So yeah, I mean I think that makes perfect sense to go that route. I'll have the gang help me out for sure. The knowledgeable trails crew. <laughs> uh oh, fishy sources. That's how you get your computer seized by the FBI. Oh yeah, for sure, Cora. If we can do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't care if I have to display it from the back of a milk carton or something, I don't know. Why would that be the way I have to do it? You open the chest, eyes wild with avarice. Your face falls as you realize you've already taken everything. Oh, yep, true. <laughs> In this particular case. <laughs> oh, 
Ouch. Yep, <laughs> virtual machines. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, we'll find a way. If it's possible to find a way, we will find that way. Eh. Uh, how's it going, my friend? Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I mean, to me, that's how it's always been. I've always built up a style for defense. A O and zero, but yeah, I mean, if we can play it, I definitely want to try to get to it. Uh, all allies in the area. Let's do that. Day is going good. Uh, life is going pretty good. Hanging out with my friends, real, real good. But how are you doing, Air? Like. I feel like I don't I don't know enough about you, my friend. I know you're uh, programming a game, right? Man, um, Chloe can walk real fast. Or real far, I should say. Well, I guess in this case it would be fast as well. Like, that's kind of all this is happening very quickly. <laughs> it's a dude creating a dude designed by another dude. Ain't that the truth? Friend, come back to us, my friend. Six hours mining. I don't even know like what a, what things I should be getting on that. Like if I should, like what sort of craft skills I should be picking up. I feel like my mic is still too loud. Hang on. Maybe today I'm just like extra loud talking or something. That sounds a bit better. Alright, there you go. Yeah. Spanks are asking. Roofer is re-roofing my... <laughs> Those roofers be re-roofing. That's one thing they do do. That sounds good. What kind of pizza was it? Man, I could go for some pizza myself. Since we're talking about it. Yep, now we got pizza on the brain for everybody. <laughs> Y'all loaded in the slouch position. That pizza slouch has got to you. Let's move out. Yeah, see, I'm with them now. Oh, it's Annabelle. Hello. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you again. This is no Resident Evil, that's for sure. <laughs> Dual strike. Yes. Okay. I'm really like, uh, I know that this is sort of a pacing thing, but I really appreciate that they're giving us like these dungeons that are kind of simple as far as combat goes to, I don't know, to kind of level up because that seems like what they're doing here. That they're giving us an opportunity to build our characters. Oh, I'm doing really well, Annabelle. Um, and trying myself playing this game that I've been playing for apparently 69 hours. So, I'm having a great time um, and hanging out with my friends. Really appreciate if y'all come hang out with me. 16 hours. Game loads. 69 hours, actually. Mm. I love pizza. Aw, oh, shucks, M. You guys are the gems. Oh, mother. <laughs> I really hate when enemies self, uh, self detonate. I think I've said that a million times, but it's all good. Because you know what? We're having a good time here tonight. <laughs> no worries about self detonation. EP charge, too. 
Well, I see you're not above asking for seconds. Mm, give me that butt. Thank you. Thank you for that butt. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Stuzzy are the best. Oh, wait, yeah, you can see the ham now. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys can see the subscription badge on Stuzzy, but I changed the train to a ham. Because, you know. Cutting ham. <laughs> Hilarious joke. <laughs> Yeah, you're already, I think you're three months of Malay, so, or M, exactly. Going ham. I stay going ham. Hard as a mother lover. It's a cunning ham. Give me those books. Give me that information. Mm, can I do something that's gonna really hurt their body? <laughs> that's a good phase. Oh, uh, M, you haven't been around when uh, Stuzzy's been around enough. Stuzzy is like the pun slash dad joke extraordinaire. <laughs> Going ham in bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean the key, especially if you read it, like you read these games, then you're going to be in for a, a real long time. I wonder, like, if this song in the victory music is gonna end up burned in my memory. Do they have this same victory sound when you fight uh, battles in uh, the third chapter as well? Yo, air planet side though. That's like the that's the ham dist. That's going real ham. Oh, rainy. I, that's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I just I mean maybe like some extra orchestral hits. Some something. I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's what's up, eh? I mean, I think it's different if you're playing games with friends. Oh man, with uh hopefully not with different voices or else I don't know how you're still gonna be able to speak today. Grilled cheese. You got any meat, though? Do people not put meat on their grilled cheese sandwiches? I'm asking for myself. Because I put meat on any sandwich. Uh, crazy hours. I have logged a... Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you include the whole Dark Souls as a series, that's probably only around 300, maybe 400. Oh, side I'm sorry, you guys are both incorrect. Meat belongs in anything with two pieces of bread on it. Otherwise, what are you eating? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Unsubbed, unfriended, unfollowed. Skull pendant. But yeah, it would have to be Dark Souls. I think I put maybe like, yeah, near. 400 hours total across all three. Um, yeah. It was good. Say, Air understands. Any chance you could put that thing back where you found it? Oh, yeah, Cora. And you beat, you beat it on Nightmare recently, didn't you? I think. Or was that first chapter? <laughs> so help me God. 
Interceptor, hello from Florida. How are you doing on your vacation? And thank you for taking a moment from it to say hello. Us first chapter. Oh yeah, yeah, the Lawrence fight. I remember now. Tennessee whiskey. Care for a rematch? It's a good vacation. <laughs> there's a uh, there's plenty to add. Sky's not here. Sky's got. The Canada love. But hey, we got you air repping repping the, the sea. Where Drake is from. Repping Drake. Well, Cora, you know what you could do with that uh orbit setup, just go ahead and slip me a note underneath the desk, pass it on over while I can use it as a cheat sheet. <laughs> Raptors fans, Super Dragon Drake. Damn, boo, hello, my friend. It is good to see you. Dan B. We're just out here beating the hell out of some robots. No, oh, rank up quartz. Left. Cheating is wrong. Yeah, I'm learning that hard lesson, Nanbu. Cheating, I mean, cheating is, but this isn't cheating, it's team working. It's collaboration. A sick Mr. Cunningham and Kuro collabo. Again. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right. What do we got here? Tyrol bomb. Mind doing me a favor, not opening up again. Not opening me up again. <laughs> and sharing is flaring. Exactly. Collaborative work between close friends. <laughs> Speaking of Ren and your YouTube, have you done another Ren's Ones? I'm looking forward to another one of those. <laughs> well, that takes care of that. Boosh. I mean, effectively, yes. Effectively the same. No, I mean, I did a lot of dumb things when I was a kid that were incorrect, but I would not do as a grown adult now. Yeah, come on. Hit him with the he. My brother actually did that. He stuck a fork in the electric socket. And apparently my mom thought it was really funny. Oh yeah, like eating way too many cookies. Oh man, I've eaten a lot of cookies in my day. Silent Hill too. That's a whole game right there. My mom was like, great. Is from south to north? Yeah, south to north. My mom, I mean, he, he deserved it. I mean, he knew he should have known better at the time. Oh, he got pretty zapped. But, like, he wasn't hurt, so that's when she thought, huh, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, it's a, you can, it definitely can happen. It's, it's no good. I don't, maybe they've stopped that in, like, the modern age of electrical wiring, but. Oh, awesome. It's all good and lucky. Thank you for stopping by, though. And, you know, I was actually going to ask you about the drawing, because I feel like I don't see any more of your art on your Instagram anymore, Unlucky. I know that's a thing you definitely get into. <laughs> you got zapped. 
Mm. There we go. Hello, Stardust. You can see that I've changed my one month uh, badges to Ham's Stardust, which I feel good about. There we go. The party is on. Oh, oh, Joshua. Not my guy right now. Ah, but I must have just missed it. Maybe I didn't. Mm. Anyway, look at that. I'm surprised that you weren't, like, uh, because you're pretty talented at it, sir. I thought that you'd maybe streaming some of that as well, along with video games. A hat. It's a ham. <laughs> All right, Lethesis. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for hosting. I really appreciate it. I know it's really late for you guys, so have a good sleep. Emerald gem. The chest is empty, and if it could eat you, it would. It's a ham. I'd just be hamming it up on stream. Now let's see. I want to check out what that orbit does. Who has green? <laughs> I can't believe that out loud said who has green. Okay. What does it do? ADF plus 150 ATS minus 9%. ADF. Huh? Hmm. Ham indeed. <laughs> I'm like perpetually saving because I really don't want to have to do any of this again. All the Sabbath we need. We're going to do every battle in here, so don't even worry about that. Oh wow, hit me with that one, huh? <laughs> Air, because it is on fast forward. There's a, a speed up button they can press to make the combat go quickly. Oh, shield. Hmm. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, I do have shield on him, but I probably don't need. I like having an attack on him. I wonder if I have a higher shield though. And if I had a higher shield, I'd probably need a second slot. I'm kind of concerned that this party isn't going to be the best for whatever's going to come up next, but we'll see. Oh, um, one game I played once, it was so good, I don't want to play it again. Hmm, that's a tough one. I don't want to play it again. Oh, you're at the gym. Okay, Stardust, have a fun time with the gym. Thank you for swimming by, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, she only needs three slots. Bang and clang. Hmm, can boost ADF. <laughs> That's the grass, man. Um, man, so good I couldn't, see, I don't know, like, it's tough, because I always would want to play. If I really dug it, I'm just going to play it again. Skull Bended. Prevents Death Blows. Hmm. Oh, it's all good, Annabelle. Thank you for swinging back by. Hate it when the phone dies. Luckily, like when I'm at work, I leave my phone charging the entire time, which is probably not optimal for the battery, but whatever. It's all good. It works out. I really want to know what this will say in the end. 
Banner Crystal, 15. Nice. Okay, so the question becomes, at what point am I going to run into the battle? Yes. Yes, I would, Rainy. I would like that advantage very much so, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's so funny, Air, that I didn't realize that, uh... Why am I turning my head to the left? Why am I doing that? Oh, petrifying death blow. The RPG fan. Oh, don't get lost? Yeah. That's like always the thing with these towers. Oh, thanks, Stardust. For a body bag, probably. I was sure that there was a two path route. Nope, I was just tripping, that's just in my mind. Wait, there it is. Wait, no, it wasn't. I went this way, around that way. Must be a circle, nope. Route two. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So we have a path to the left. We went the long route. Got that one. And we have another teleportation pad. Okay. My bet is that the one that's not going to lead to the end is going to be the one that's closest to the middle. So I think I should do this one first. Unless that's backwards. Which it could be. How would I know? This might be backwards. Dang it, RPG fan. <laughs> Maybe you're right. This might... Well, this camera angle's weird. This has got to be backwards. Oh, fruits. Petrify and death blow. Well, we definitely have one thing that can protect against death blow right now. Mute, I don't care about you. Skull pendant. Exactly. I'm just like doing it. I'm doing it for the uh do it for the twitch. Petrify Mirage ring, that'll work. Mm-hmm. Oh well, for now. I don't think we have anything else that can do anything with death blows, though. Oh, but Petrify is probably one of the most annoying status effects. Uh... What? You don't have one of those equipped? Confuse and sleep and confuse. Uh oh. <laughs> probably because someone was spazzing out. So I had to call it Twitch. Wasn't it like called Justin TV before? Or was that, am I like misremembering the lore of this? Looks like I'm going to just get beat up by Petrifying Deathblow based upon my existing equipment. So this is going to be real, real fun. Now we're getting it. That's, yeah, Twitch was Justin TV. I have a nice little sip of coffee here. Yeah, and I've been lucky so far with these towers, so maybe my luck will continue. Yeah, I think Justin TV was like before, right? Like, it kind of became that. I need some health, a little, a little bit. Zoom. Ah, uh, everything is illuminated. Thank you, RPG. Give me all those data crystals. Yellow tower now. Yellow Zeno Gears save spot tower punch. Hello, my dear friend Punch. I think four or five. Four. Four. 
That seems right. But Punch, how are you doing today, my friend? I hope you're doing well. That's a nice even number. I think five would be one tower too many. Yeah, Grantzel has a lot going on anyway. Touch a cyclic. Ain't that the truth? Don't get lost, Mr. C. I should have known. Oh, nice. Yeah, and this is, um, you're, you have like the weekend now, don't you, Punch? Oh, hey, I forgot to answer your question before. I don't think I have a game that I wouldn't go back to play. The first game I ever beat was Streets of Rage 2. I never could beat old Mario games even though I played for a long time. Streets of Rage 2 for sure. This is going to be a whole thing, huh? Yeah, man, I, I used, me and my brother used to play Streets of Rage 2 and then uh, Streets of Rage 3 came out. And I was like, oh snap, this is a this is it. Die. Come on. <laughs> okay. Mechanized security draw a powerful ranged attack. Ranged attack. Mechanized droid. Call us a backup if it sustains damage. Let's go for this one. Well, you're absolutely right and lucky. The yeah, music is very good in this game. I appreciate it a lot, because you have to hear it a lot. <laughs> oh, I did not. And I do know they're actually going to make a real, a new Streets of Rage that looks challenging. Little Mervin on NES. Also, Ren, obviously, it's got to be Max. I tried to, like, skate for obvious reasons. But skate just didn't do it. You're looking forward to it. The art looks kind of weird, man. And you remember how good the music was in Streets of Rage 3? I couldn't beat Aladdin either. Heck, I couldn't even beat, beat dang, um, what's the name of that game? Kingdom Hearts, the first one. Now I'm like watching Unlucky in here. They're streaming um, Kingdom Hearts and just beating it up. And I'm like, well, I feel real bad and dumb. Is getting stunned on again, bringing back horrible memories. Really, in the though, Halo 2. That's actually a good start. Halo 2 is a good game. Uh, we played that a lot when I was um, younger. Oh, I was saying unlucky that I was unable to complete the original Kingdom Hearts, and I, I watch your streams, and you're like a Kingdom Hearts, like Kingdom Hearts, no guard run. No magic master. I'm like, <laughs> bringing shame to my Cunningham name. The first RPG in was FS. Wow, really? Like, I didn't get into RPGs until really Final Fantasy VII, if I'm being completely honest. Then after that, I went backwards, I think, and played a bit more of them and came to Sui Coden, which I think was the next one. Which, again, is like probably one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> it's sad being young. It's really not, Annabelle. You didn't miss anything. So those consoles were just expensive a lot of times. And, and now you can play pretty much all of them with an emulator. It's You're doing great. It's a great time to be young. Everything's available to you. Oh, hello, Flame. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. We're playing this fantastic game. And I'm loving it. Yeah, like, now you can play pretty much anything you want. Back in the day, I had to buy Sonic Adventure, for example. Yes, <laughs> look to the future. <laughs> the horrible Sonic Adventure. Ugh, yeah, looking at some Banjo-Kazooie on a non-emulator, it's impossible. Like a nice emulated, a nice emulated N64 game still looks pretty good. Got Jack the Ripper, Joshua back. Yeah, we did. I'm very happy about that too. Joshua is a good, strong lad. 
the original Final Fantasy. <laughs> Dude, see, the thing is, I feel like I never got good at video games, but I played them a lot. Because I certainly could not beat a Contra when those bad boys came out. Oh, you gotta be a Chloe fan. I mean, kind of. Uh, the way the versatility of her character and the healing that you get is nice. Plus, I mean, she's not super weak the way I built her, so. I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Oh, near the top list. Near. But not number one rating. I think I think Chloe it rightfully is one of the best like uh like she deserves to be one of the main characters in this series and a series that has as dynamic characters as it does like she does not disappoint she stands right there with uh, Estelle and Joshua's storyline yep perma perma healer that's what's up <laughs> she's like <laughs> I mean you know Punch gets it. Oh man. Oh Punch, uh, when are we coming back with more Zeno Gears? The mod's coming with the hard hitting questions. Really, Kuro? Who are you? Oh, nice. That's good, Punch. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I think Suikoden, then of course Xenogears, was one of the early formative JRPGs that I played. But definitely the first game was Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> Kuro is unbullyable. I'm telling you, Kuro is like low key the most interesting person in the world. Oh, here we go. Prevents petrification and death blow, so I should have known that there's a warning coming for me here. Aggie. So we don't want you getting death blow because you're gonna be right up there in the front. Lebensborn. Ah. Wait, which one's Futaba? That's not the the one that you get in the very beginning that's like the model, is it? Oh, you know it, Air. I definitely had a flat top. Hoping against hope, the chest will be full of goodies again. You slowly raise the lid. Nope. I had a uh, red-haired chick. Okay. Very chic. Yeah, the nerd. I don't even think I got that far in that game. To be honest. Oh, really? I let that happen. Um, I got as far as the painter guy's stage, I think. Like that painter. Maybe a spoiler, I don't think so. But uh, I had a flat top and I used to have a rat tail as well. Yeah, unlucky you're you joined the ranks of Ren here, Renee's, who is a huge P5 fan. Which that's fine. Tessin, how's it going my friend? It's good to see you again. We are doing real well out here playing Mr. Trails in the Sky. Trying not to die. Trails in the sky. Trying not to die. Oh, it's Jeffrey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for continuing that sub. I appreciate you being on the friendship train. You know how we do. Thank you. Trails in the die. Bless us. <laughs> I do dig that. <laughs> An L. That's just a nice little snort. Persona 4 Golden is one of the few JRPGs that I've beaten multiple times, multiple different ways. <laughs> I've even let myself get to the end and not had, uh, and decided to like, not do the last little suggestion and let that happen. Cause I think at the end they're like, do you want to chase after this guy? And you're like, nah, that's cool. 
This health is not looking great. Let me get some of this health out here for these boys. It's all still untouched. But <laughs> flat top of the rat tails by look. I thought I was super fresh. Then I had my hair very, very long right before I went to college. I had like a huge fro that I would get um, periodically braided by a woman named Patrice. I would go to her house and she'd sit there and poorly braid my hair. I thought I was super cool. I was not. <laughs> That's very true. Just can't have it. You know, it might be my fault for not having used Tita enough, but I think that her character, I mean, maybe because of her age, that she just doesn't show me as much as some of the other main characters. But I'm probably going to get the opportunity to get to know her more from, like, another series or something. Hmm. Every day is great at your Junus. Junus. You flip the chest upside down and open it, hoping to open a secret subsection yet subsection subsection yet to be looted. You find nothing, and now your arms are tired. <laughs> your Junus. Man, I really dug that game though. I and mean, I was I was ready for Persona 4. Like uh because I had played a lot of Persona 3. And this chest is empty with this lid wide open. It looks like it's screaming at you. You know, I played a lot of Persona 3 because I just love that one. And I really think I appreciated the rural Persona 4, like the location. I mean Persona 5 is like really big city stuff, I get it, but That's fine, Rainy. That's fine. But I mean, I, I I just don't know how much I like the setting of Persona 5 compared to like 4. You know. You should play one more than one time. Of course, you play one about three times. Three. <laughs> three different Persona games. Three different times. I mean, I get that. I guess to me, it, it, I liked how it dealt a little bit more with the slice of life aspect of it. Okay, cool. And we just got a new piece of equipment, I believe. Mm, was it Tornado Fan? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, I think for me, the Persona 4 and the... Nanako, of course, being there, like a character that I just really liked, and they did some stuff there that really put your concern for her out there. I, I just feel like those games kind of get... Like, 3 was dark, 4 was pretty dark, 5 seems... Like it's... I mean, I can't say for sure because I didn't play the whole, the whole game through, but it doesn't seem as dark as either of those two. Oh, oh, air. Oh, man. I can tell you exactly what game it was. It was the most recent Fist of the North Star game. Um, the one that's meant to be like built by the same people that, that did the Yakuza games. I was so charged up for that. Like, I went. I was really going in, pre-ordered it. I was like, yo, this is going to be it. I love Fist of the North Star. You know, I love the Yakuza games. I like the battle system. I played the demo. I was like, yo, this is it. And then uh when I played the game like that was it. Like there wasn't enough death blows. Yeah, see I'm gonna stop talking trash about it because I trust Ridden's uh, perspective. And he and he likes Persona 5, and I'm gonna one day go back to it. Oh damn boo with the challenging opinion. Persona Flora, that's um, Yusuke, right? That's the annoying one in that one. <laughs> I and then the annoying one in this in Persona 5 is 
bad legs kid that can't run or something, right? Yeah, I'm always fighting with Chie, who was the best. <laughs> Yusuke, I didn't. I never played with Yusuke at all. Bad legs kid. <laughs> you didn't like the characters in P4. Over. <laughs> I thought the P4 characters had, were cool. I liked. I mean, I, I mainly liked Chie. I thought she was pretty cool. But I think Persona 3 with Mitsuru, her name was. I thought. Like, I, I think that's probably my favorite character in all the. Uh, in all of them, honestly. <laughs> Into visual novels. I mean. I got one ready to go. Oh, besides Naito. That's the like the investigator that had the gun, I think, right? Unlucky? I believe. Yeah, that that's a cool character. I, I cannot disagree. But I think Mitsuru in Persona 3 was probably the best. Oh yeah, you know, Kura, I haven't forgotten about that either. I'm working on seeing how I'm gonna get Clanad in there. I just don't know, like, I feel like two hours of it might be a lot for everybody. <laughs> Teddy is so possum. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Rainy, it seems like that's something you might need to write a little article or something about so we can all understand with your uh, efficacy of, that's probably a word, of articulating this topic. Maybe write it down. I'd read it. I'd read that article. I'd read it while I'm holding a sandwich in my hand. Read it like it was the newspaper on a Sunday morning. Let me get that line attack. Yeah, like, so I'm just like thinking, Cora, how I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it in there. Alright, Annabelle. Hey, thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again, and good luck with college in the morning. And don't worry, you got all the games in the world to play. And if you need some suggestions, you know exactly where to go. Right here with us. We got you. We got you. Hey, we. Yeah, get hit with stuff. I love debilitate. That's like another thing that I really like about having Chloe around is the ability to weaken enemies. I'm definitely gonna get lost in this one, aren't I? I wish I, I wish I could share a little love with you. Oh man. I wish I could share a little love with you. <laughs> Scree. <laughs> you know, Stuzzy, I sensed I had said something that I about putting something in somewhere or taking something out. I was like, it's, I'm gonna get taken out of context, aren't I? It's empty now, but don't worry. Whoever put that item in here probably wanted you to have it anyway. Really hope so, because it's a celestial bomb. Don't, Cora, stop. Don't say stuff like that. I'm sure it'll work just like it should, and everything's gonna be fine, and it's gonna be a one shot, and everybody's gonna high five me via the internet when I, you know, first try the final boss of this game. That's the ultimate debuff debuff punch. <laughs> People don't die, they just get debuffed. Okay. Yeah. I mean with uh, Chloe around with some sort of revive, it is truly just a debuff. 
or of her like a S craft, S skill, S art. None of those things are correct. I'm just getting a feeling that this treasure chest is going to emerge with uh, an enemy inside of it. Tempest Cannon, I don't have Tita. As you close the lid on yet another empty treasure chest, you wonder if the locks are only decorative. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think that's like all of them at this point. I beat you, Bob. Got escape because all the ones in the three towers before this all ran away. So, I mean, we're at least three. There's a bad guy to kill over here. Should have killed a man. <laughs> Better go. No limits and high ATS. I mean, if I could, whenever I, I mean, I didn't, I can't use Olivier right now because I, I, he's on a trip somewhere apparently doing something. But I'm definitely gonna use him. That I think I would replace. Yeah, I guess I could replace Chloe with Olivier. Olivier is, is a fantastic character. I love Olivier. That's. Like, I think I mentioned that before, but probably my second favorite character in the game. In this series, so far at least. Oh, oops. Let's try that again. Mm, yeah, we're fine. All right, now that treasure chest is gonna have a bad guy inside of it. Give me that butt. Crash. Mm-hmm. You get that beautiful loop plan. You get the whole song that he'll sing. Was that in the first chapter that there was a? There's an argument happening, and Olivier sang it away. Because that would work on me, man. <laughs> See, that's the kind of guy you need around. I wish I had a friend like that in college. Yeah, that's exactly it, Dan. Like for the factions of the mayors, he just kind of sang it away. Like in real life, I could have avoided many college problems if I had an Olivier around that could have soothed the savage Cunningham. <laughs> and the fling begins. <laughs> Really? Oh, like a like a like a cheat engine sort of thing, right? This guy. This is gonna have a bad guy inside of it. I sense it. I think I keep sensing it wrong. I need to stop saying it out loud. Think you can just take my stuff and run off? You'll be hearing from my lawyer. I mean. Ren, you say that, but there's a lot of RPGs that I wish I would I could just do that with. I mean, honestly, I don't tend to come to RPGs for the combat. Use Olivier for a top tier support arts and healing. And stuff for healing and all around damage. Aggie, Berserker, and Joshua for arts and speed. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's gotta be it, Rene. Is that one too many people, girl? Or are you saying like you could alternate between or choose between like two of those people? Mm. 
I'm glad she thinks it's a piece of cake. Rogering. Olivier, Estelle, Aggie, Josh. Oh, that's four. <laughs> I don't know why it was a magic of fifth character there. Let's see. So the Mirage Ring, another one we just found. Prevents Petrify. So. She's got that on her. Joshua, you need something. Sleep Confuse, Petrify. <laughs> I'll use your whip, mistress. There we go. Yep, Olivier. <laughs> I imagine one of his, uh. I mean, Olivier doesn't really have groupies, but I think in real life, Olivier probably would. I mean, he's, he's a beautiful man. He'd have some things. Maybe he has him back home in Airbonia. Hence the CP heal. Yeah, um. I kind of always forget that he has that Kuro. I'm glad you mentioned that. But that was a super powerful uh, tool, I think, in the first game for me. Hmm. I like Shira as a character, and I like her, uh, what is that? That whip move she has, I forget, that hits an area of effect. With Shira. <laughs> like, I forget the name of that whip move, but yeah, I really always like her being in the team. Let's move out. SC wasn't kind to a lot of people. I distinctly remember starting this game and thinking that this was substantially harder than the uh, first chapter was. This makes me wonder if like maybe I was supposed to do more in the first chapter to boost myself in this one. Johnny Bravo is real top heavy though. This chest is empty, or is that just what it wants you to think? Like he's real. Do they have like every enemy right here? Yeah, I mean, I guess the man, it seems like the AI is just a little like more aggressive in this one. But again, I just might be having, you know, bad memory of the first one. Johnny Bravo has skipped every leg day. I would have to say he's actively hostile towards leg day. <laughs> Speaking of top heavy men in children's shows. They're not trying to sex up uh, Fred, are they? Extremely gifted. And that's just because he keeps sexually harassing women, but he has to escape from them. <laughs> Fred's so raunchy. Well, this is going to be a battle, isn't it? Ooh, blue falcons. Wow, look at all this air. So who's going to rock the blue falcons? Extra agility, extra move, extra defense. It's like I guess we're definitely. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know, man. That's not the Fred I know. My Fred isn't like that. And also, don't really necessarily love how Scooby Doo has been so highly sexualized. I mean, I guess everything gets sexualized at a certain point, but it's like, if I see another Velma, the chest is empty, but you briefly consider taking it along with you and selling it to someone. Oh yeah, that's definitely true, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
Shaggy. Man, I used to love the Scooby-Doo movies. That TV show, the one that had the, I think Roseanne guested on there, as well as the Harlem Globetrotters a number of times. That was good stuff, not the Roseanne one so much. I think Cher was definitely on there, at least once. The chest is empty, but you briefly consider taking along with you selling to someone. Let's see what's in here. I'm already lost, so. Scooby-Doo and Batman. He didn't like scooby Doo, does he? But how? Another celestial bomb. Even though there wasn't anything in the chest, opening it showered you in confetti. Yay! I disagree, it is for everyone. And you know what I realized, like just am remembering now that I watched a lot of was Power Rangers. And that show was like an assault on the senses. And I think I recently found out that the action parts weren't even shot in the same place where they did like the kids acting parts. Oh, well, yeah. You're not wrong by that air. Yeah, but here's the thing. I think a lot of that show, the action parts, were actually shot in Japan. All right, Quacks. Thank you for hanging out so late. I appreciate you. Appreciate your sacrifice. I'll check you out next time. This fight's going to go poorly. So like that's called like uh like those sorts of characters like Sentai, is that what it says? I feel like that's me saying that word wrong. He Man was a great show. Maya the Bee was a good <laughs> Not Hentai. <laughs> we you know we know what that one is. Yeah, Sentai. Oh, Get away from me. Oh, thanks. Steal my CP, too. That's what I wanted. By the way, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, Maya the Bee. I don't even know why I'm attacking these things. The old Pink Ranger. He man be. Yeah, it's like I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm just gonna swing wild at him. <laughs> Damn, Mudos, what's up? I feel like I know most of you guys' favorite uh, games at this point. Oh, Sheppy. Thank you for the host. I appreciate you, my dear friend. The Shep's the best. Everybody knows that. You all just need to know. Follow it's the Sheppy if you don't already. Just no questions asked. It's already done. <laughs> all right, Kuro. Have a great sleep. And take care of yourself. I feel as I feel like I should. Not that I do. Freaking do it. Freaking do it, man. Oh, Shep. Air, your favorite game. I mean, it's gotta be a Dark Souls game, right? And did I miss who they said was gonna be a uh, He Man? No. Scorpina. <laughs> Say what? I feel like I'm definitely going the wrong way at this point. All right, well, treasure chest means I'm going the right way. Insulating tape. And it's a bad treasure, so that means I'm going the right way. You've already looted the chest. You briefly pause to wonder if that's legal. Really? Air? Shadow the Colossus? 
Yeah, that insulating tip. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious middle tier magic ma uh, middle tier item. You're going the right way now. Shadow of the Colossus. I've recently watched uh, someone play through that game, and um, man, that I, it doesn't hold up for me like it did when I first played it. I really dug it though. I remember that, but playing again now. But I do appreciate a good boss rush in any game. That that's completely fair. I go. Find those little white-tailed lizards and making it do what it do. <laughs> you just don't get it, man. Yep, ouch. Wonder I'm gonna let this blaster beam accidentally kill me. Done yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned this a few times. Like, uh, the thing I'm working on becoming better at is really focusing on the games I'm playing them. Like playing when I'm playing them, I tend to like always multitask, and that's part of the reason I even started streaming is to be able to kind of focus more in a game and just play it. You know discuss stuff, whatever, but not be like trying to play a game and then watch a TV show while I'm reading a book or something. Sticky gray. Oh, oh. You chew it to make it easy. I didn't throw all that air. Keep it honest. Celestial bombs again. To be continued. <laughs> oh, fund it. Yeah. Kickstart that. Here we go. Let's rest. I mean, but it's, it's like, it's gross though, right? Like, we all agree that if you have to chew on your tape first, that would be pretty gross. I think we had a similar thing in, in uh, my undergrad um, to make a business plan or business model. We made a vodka called Caliber with a C. Actually, no, it was with a K. C is how it always is. K is how we did it, and it was real dumb. But we had to make a MySpace for it. That tells you when I was in college. And let the grease drain below. Um, that's not so bad, actually, Rainy. There it is. The caliber with a K. It's a luxury. It was like Ciroc is presented now. I try to forget that MySpace existed. How I had to learn some HTML to put my pictures up. That's that. Let's move out. The guy learned a little bit of his H uh, HTML. Ooh, a new bow. Staff. We just paid for one for it too. Oh well. Dark good times. <laughs> That's when I was in college too. Like uh, right at the. Because I think that happened when I was still in college when Facebook still was. Uh, you had to have like a, a school email address. Tear all bomb. You was just already a strange. It almost feels heavier now. <laughs> Shh. I use hot mails. No, we're not doing this. We're not going to play the Get Lost game. Because that's what I'm on the way to do if I don't use that thing. Old Zuck. Hmm. 
like, I'm kind of concerned about this fight. I'm not gonna lie. This may not go as well as we'd like. But you know what? You go into a situation with a positive attitude and the power of friendship while riding a train called friendship. And we're gonna be alright. Huh <laughs> friendship train. Exactly. Fresh save, that's the key. Well, Ren, I mean, why would you make a tray of brownies if you didn't want to eat a tray of brownies? <laughs> hot mail. What is it? Let's see. Hot nail. You're really rude, you know. I was so sick of waiting. Ren. No, Ren, you're just gonna have to. You're gonna have to just make more of them. That's that's how it is. Ren. Hey. -hey. Dog, this is the music right here. This is the stuff. This is what we came here for. Hey, Estelle. You're a bad girl. Running away from the Ark while little Ren was away. But it's okay. You came here to play in the end, so all is forgiven. I think you and I have different different definitions of play, Ren. Exactly, Punch. Now you know. You can see through the veil now, Punch. Also, heh <laughs> You finally show yourself, huh? You left me waiting for a long time, Joshua. Same, Dan. Same. Being uber powerful, but also, like, extremely strange. And I think she was a scythe, which is always a cool weapon in anything ever. I never thought I would beat you again here, of all places. Mm, closed eyes. You know, you've grown a bit, Ren. Of course I have. I'm 11 years old now. And I still was right. You got really handsome while you are away, Joshua. It's a little weird seeing you without the cold eyes, but I suppose you aren't so bad anymore. Really? Thank you. This is a weird interaction to have. For the love of... Why do you always try to act so grown up, Ren? <laughs> 11. Okay, Ren. You know we're here to stop the society's plan, right? Yes, I'm aware. And I hate being bored, so I'd be glad to play with you for a while. Hmm. Me and Rainy, I, I love a sight. That's uh, that was actually the weapon I used. My second playthrough of the original Dark Souls was the Great Sight. And, um, and I just think they look really dope. And of course, there is Ninja Gaiden too, where you can use that scy scythe, which to me was like so Omega. The Ninja Gaiden, I was like, that's it. <laughs> Try to enjoy yourselves, okay? <laughs> that's where you put your scythe. That's not where you store yours. Ren, that's enough. Sorry, but we're not here to fight you. I want to do something way more important. I want to talk to you. Oh snap, is this a talking boss? Talk? Oh, is it story time? Is it a fairy tale? So it's nice for a dark knight weapon and... Well, I guess I gotta play a thousand hours of Final Fantasy XIV then, Ren. <laughs> just roll the mouse wheel and just pull that bad boy out. Gaiden. Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. I said Gaiden as a kid, and I might have even said it just now. I know I should say Gaiden. No, it's about your invitation to the joint society. I appreciate the offer, but I refuse. <sighs> well, you found Joshua on your own, so I guess that doesn't come as a huge surprise. Sure, you don't want to think it over a little more, though? Hmm. Warrior Dark Knight. No matter how hard you try, still, you'll never stop Ouroboros. Joshua should know that best of all, right? Well... <laughs> Come on back, Munch. Come on back and play with your friends. Besides, if you join the society, we can make you even stronger. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna make you punch. I'm just gonna ask you real nice. You could be an enforcer like me, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? Mm, I'll admit the idea of becoming stronger is tempting, but... But it wouldn't be a real strength. Not to me, at least. I want to become stronger. Strong enough to protect those important to me. Like my mom. Strong enough to protect myself so this guy over here can stop fretting over me. Estelle. If I joined society, though, I'd cease to be me. I might get stronger, sure, but maybe a lot stronger. But it wouldn't be as who I really am. I just don't think I'd ever, there'd be any point. I think it's kind of cool that she actually gave some at least seeming, really seemingly real thought towards the idea. I don't understand it all. I still, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. Who you really are? What's that supposed to mean? Ren, I really like you. Oh, Ren. You can buy that? I want to buy that. Can I still buy that now? You act all grown up. You love pranks. You're more sympathetic than I'd expect, given the circumstances. You deceive me in a lot of things, but I can't bring myself to hate you. Um, but that's why. That's why I don't want you to be in the society. If you were an adult choosing of your own free will, I could expect that at least. But what they've done to you, what they're doing to you, it's fundamentally wrong. If you're going to adult the way you are now, you'll never ever be able to turn back. So... I've changed my mind. Eh? No. Ren. And now that's the Joshua I remember. Quick reflexes. That wasn't too bad either. They didn't call you the Angel of Slaughter for nothing, I see. That's a very good nickname. Yes, that's right. The Angel of Slaughter is strong. Much stronger and more useful than the Black Fang who can only bite from the shadows. Well, what the hell? What was that for? <laughs> see? I said I've changed my mind. If you won't be my ally still, I'll gut you like a fish after all. Nah, Punch, you'd get right back in there. Joshua too and everyone else. Good. One of the first things my dad ever taught me was that gutting fish is for grown-ups. Okay, I've had enough. Missy, you have earned yourself a hell of a lot of spankings. <laughs> oh, play excellent instruments. Estelle, calm down. We can't underestimate... No, Joshua, she needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> You're so naive. I like that part of you, Estelle, but now... Now I hate it. I hate you. Can do 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 on. Oh, we're gonna watch a preteen battle and a regular teen battle. Most of these people are teens. I think all of them are actually teens, other than Ren, who's a preteen here. I am the Angel of Slaughter, and now it's time to be an Angel of Slaughter and slaughter you. Die. <laughs> really, we're gonna start off with this. So that's how we do this. That was a fun start. I love the part when I didn't have a turn. Well, uh, let's try to kill something. Also, I thought I was on Chloe, so this is a bad, bad run. Oh well. <laughs> I never said it'd be fair. Did I really the shirt? Did I change her S to not be the thing I wanted it to be? I might as well just start this whole fight over again. Yeah, this is not. Might as well let this fight end. Yep, nope, this isn't gonna this isn't this isn't the run. Alright, let's see what we can do. Just kind of feel it out for a little while. 
But we just need these people to like we need to die. Cause I need to change Chloe's S skill to something else. Everyone's using Gorgon Miss Laser. That's horrible, Rainy. <laughs> Keanu Reeves moment. I hope that uh, Chloe pulls it this time too. Okay, we need to do a few things here. Um, your orbits are fine. What is the thing that is it? Tactics set as break. Chloe, I don't want you to have that. I want you to do this one. Uh, final break. That's cool. True Barrage. I mean, I guess it could be. Stick with that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, press a lot of buttons to get past that chat this time. Yep, really rude. Mm, didn't bring Kevin, so I haven't played with enough with Kevin to know what, how he would be really useful in this. But <sighs> holding X and circle. Oh, I think we got it. Thanks, Rainy. Yep, go ahead. Do the thing you're going to do. Oh, only one of us died. Yep, he's blind. Hmm. Really? Well, that's just a good thing to have, Rainy. <laughs> this is going to be neat. Hmm. So what is the move here, huh? No, nah, it's all good, right? <laughs> Just messing with you. Yeah, that's if you have time. Hmm. You know what? I guess this is the time to use it. We're good to go. Oh. Neat. Okay, so we have a Chloe turn who I guess really needs to heal. Like everybody. Okay, so you have no none, nothing I need right now, which is fun because you died. She's got thirteen thousand hit points. I don't know if we can burn her down in time for these bad bad boys to really take it, like to not take advantage of us. So. Let's go here and see what happens. We have got to heal him. Yeah, let's do Curia Balm on him, then make him do his thing. Make her do her thing, actually. Let's see if we can kill at least one of these boys. It's still not gonna kill here, though. <laughs> I'm hurt, so close one eye. Yes, that, that actually has a pretty good touch, right? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, none of this is the move. This is not it. Chief, this is not it. I think we might be okay if we can somehow get rid of these boys doing their dang best to kill us.
That was it. Okay. We can revive. Yeah, Shep. Things don't look like they're gonna go well here. I'm gonna end up probably gonna have to reform a whole new strategy around uh, this particular battle. It's it's rough. We're having a bad time. We're good to go. Okay, so I at least hit him. You don't even have darkness, you just missed. Yep. Yeah, he like yeah, he really is right there. <laughs> That's quite the tea party indeed. <laughs> Kirito. Hello my friend. It's really good to see you. At least we, hey, we killed one of them. Well, let's see if we can so we can make keep happening at least. Bring her back to life. She's gonna get petrified or something equally ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, Kirito. I appreciate the bits. I truly appreciate that. And I really appreciate you coming by and hanging out. It's uh I know you're gonna be taking a little break for a while. Hopefully you still are able to join people's streams. Yeah, there's no point in carrying on with this, is there? Yeah, no, this is gonna be good. Well, let's read the things I have here. So, Control Droid, developed by the Society, uses a status altering gray. And Angel of Slaughter casually wields an enormous scythe with deadly force. <laughs> From getting husband. <laughs> yeah, let's just not drag this out. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder if I saved after I changed those, um... Oh, look, it looks... Oh, there we go. Well, retry. <laughs> oh, that's all good, Kirito. I just want to make sure that you don't get too bored or anything. Rip round two. Alright, so just damage this time. And she's got a crit turn? No, she had a crit turn. And that critical ass crap somehow didn't kill. Okay. Boy, there's no way he's gonna get that move off. Like, if I tried to do that, we got all of those robos gonna do their thing. Yep. <laughs> the aesthetic of it totally does ring. What can you do? Well, I guess we could attack him and try to... <laughs> I guess the best we can do. Well, that makes me feel better that it's like just, it's just a hard thing to do. Staying closer together, you boys. Okay, what if I hit... 1172. Mr. JRPG. Yeah, it, it's happened more than once, and you might get an opportunity to see it happen again. They didn't. Nobody, nobody told me. I got what I deserved. Okay, 12, 17. 13, 16. I gotta make sure to kill. That should kill. <laughs> Even let him not take care of it. It is true. Three? Okay. So we're still standing close enough for this to work out. Yeah, we need to just do that. <laughs> I 
Okay. Look at that. No. Blind. Double blind. Two turns. Neat. That is a cute lobster you got there, Kirito. Kirito. Hmm. So right now I'm actually in a much better position than I could have been in. Do we have an art that we can cast? We got baby clock up. Baby clock up might be... Nine ninety twelve seventeen. Can we get nine on that? What do you What do you hate? We can get off nine ninety on him. And you're not that off. And you get there though. Can't get damage. Hmm. If you can't get damage, that might be okay. Can you get heal? The last minute with carry after work, so... Oh, no board game. It's your all. Can you get there? Nope, you cannot. You can unblind Estelle, but that's no good. That's not going to help us much here. Mm. Whatever we got to do, we're going to have to do it fast, because... Uh, what we don't want is her to get another opportunity to death blow us. So I guess what I'm going to do is just hit her with my sword, like, as hard as I can. Or, perhaps, an AoE magic. I mean, it's better than nothing. Nah. Hit her with the sword. Super hard. Um, then... Josh, you're down at 3,000 hit points. Just go ahead and go all the way in. We're going to have way more enough, more than enough. There we go. I have other things on my brain. I cannot believe that didn't kill. You have 33 hit points. You are the worst. You're the worst type of enemy. I'm sorry that you had a rough day at work, Mr. Cherry G. I'll actually take anything at this area. I really just need to, like, yeah, do a little bit of damage. Oh, oh. Didn't care for that uh, wind attack much, did they? Stone hammer on you. <laughs> Woes with humanity. Ain't that the deep dark truth? 8,000. Yeah, we're alright. Mm, Chloe, what can you do for me right now? Let's try that some damage on that. I probably didn't need to do that particular move, but here we are. 42. The stall's going to take care of that. You're going to hit there. Rip. Ow. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we have Joshua with Bad eyes and ability to see. Neat. Um, what I would like to do. That might be a little bit of a power move right there. It, she's probably immune though. Um, hmm. If I clock up. Chloe, then we really don't really need to worry about status ailments, and she already has a EP thing, so or CP move. Fuck up yourself, my guy. 
And then, do you happen to have what I'm looking for, my friend? Yes, you do. Carry a you. And you. I don't need an AOE. I could stand a AT delay. I sure hope so, the RPG fan. The RPG fan. RPG fan and Mr. JRPG in the same place at the same damn time. Um, let's see if this works. Let's go. Don't miss. There we go. She's about to get another turn. <laughs> the same bat plays the same bat time. Same bat channel. Can I delay her from doing something else, please? Because I know what she's going to want to do next. I know what you're going to want to do next, my, my, my friend. And it's going to suck. I mean, whatever happens, she's going to do it after, so. We're good to go. Don't miss. Oh. Oh, she missed. Mr. <laughs> Jimmy's order, I am chaos. Let's move out. That worked out all right. Thanks, Stardust. I thought that uh, the character was going to get another attack on me, but it didn't. You actually broke all my toys. <laughs> the Shank and Spank duo. <laughs> Thanks, gang. Thank you. Hey, you aren't. You really aren't bad. These guys are about to get away. Enough of this, damn it. Do you really enjoy this? Is this really all you can think about? Don't say that, Mr. JRPG. You know that's the worst thing you can say to somebody. <laughs> he he, of course. I love looking down on people suffering. Oh, wow. Okay, Ren. You turned a corner there a little bit. It lifts me up, fills my chest, makes me happy. I have a meets. I love hearing people scream in agony. It helps me sleep like the angel I am at night. No. So you're still silence, Fang. World War Z. Um, it looks like a fun cooperative game to play with others in the spirit of Left 4 Dead, like kind of a fast paced zombie game. I don't know how much it would be, how much fun it would be for a single person though, like a, sing a solo experience, but maybe someone to play with viewers if that's something you're into. I got that sub ham, here you tell. Hey Estelle, I've got a fairy tale of my own, you know. A long time ago in a land far, far away, a little girl named Ren had a fake mama and papa. A what? A fake mama and papa. Ren loved them a lot, but one day, they said they had a problem and had to go away for a while. They gave Ren away to other grown-ups who were very bad people. They're crying when they gave Ren away. They said, we'll come back for you, sweetie, over and over, but never did. But what? After Ren was given away to those people, she was made to do many unpleasant things. Ren got used to most of it, but she never got used to being hurt. There were other kids the same age there too, but most of them got sick and died. That one for about half a year. This can't be. That is a, the ham is indeed, well, the ham is all by itself. The cunning ham. This can't be. Sons of bitches. No. In the end, Mama and Papa were fake. If they were real Mama and Papa, they would have come for Ren when she got hurt. Right, Estelle? That's how your Papa and Mama act, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that pun. Uh, don't be sad. It all ended up okay. Joshua and Lo came for Ren instead. 
They slaughtered all the bad grown-ups, stabbed them, burned them. It was wonderful. What? Society occasionally finds cause to crush lesser criminal organizations, mostly for the purpose of absorbing their resources into Ouroboros itself. We found her during one such mission. I see. They brought Ren home, home to Ouroboros. Ren learned so much when she came home. Joshua taught her to be sneaky. Lo taught her to fight and kill. She learned all sorts of other things from everyone else too. And the nice people at 13 factories taught her how to be friends with dolls, just like Pedro. And that's when she met her real papa and mama in one. Oh, there it is. Is Joshua 17 now? Did they start the first chapter at 16? I feel like a smarter person is going to know the right answer for that. Yeah. I can't fight a mech right now. Is that huge archism a weapon? So 16 still. Can we really fight that thing? That's a Gordia class tactical archism, the Pater Mater. Alapanama, yeah, I think we've mentioned that in the Discord before. A kid like me being in the society is wrong, you say. Yeah, I'm th I thought that he was 16 when he was adopted, and then 17, like this probably been a year since the uh, if events. <laughs> Candy Coco, what up? If I become an adult the way I am now, I'll never be able to go back, you say. Lies, lies. I only met my real papa and mama after the society took me in. I became the happiest girl in the world. I got my happy ending. How's it going, Coco? How you doing today? Thanks for swinging by. I'm doing fantastic. Ren, Ren, listen to. If you deny that, Estelle, then you're my worst enemy. I'll enjoy your screams as Pater Mater crushes you into paste. Die, die, die. No way, dude. me, Dio. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, here we are. Let's see if, uh, let's clock up EX. I need to, like, can I just do, like, oh, board my gear. We're good now. That's morale up. And let's see if we can hurt them. Okay, tactical droid created by the society. In defensive mode, its offense is limited. So is it currently in defensive mode? Mm. <laughs> it's bad, man. I don't think you can do that. That's not going to help. Uh, okay, let's look again. What do you hate, bad guy? Yeah. Everything about the same. Let's hit it with a sword and see if it hurts him. Ouch. I felt that. Fun. Let's see if we can do my one of my favorite moves, which is this. Nope, yep, yep. This Mex can't be weakened. Hmm. <laughs> you being alive. Okay, so he doesn't like physical attacks, so we just have to hit him like 20 times and we'll be fine. <laughs> This can't go poorly. <laughs> so I'm thinking that he's going to end up doing, or this she, made her paid her, is going to end up doing a lot more um, area attacks. Another one that, let's just set blue impact. 
So let's see if we can. I'm probably gonna. It's probably not gonna care about getting eight delayed. But we need some power on this attack. Mm, exchanges. S class. Cancels arts. Nah. None of that's gonna work. Let's just take a minute and um, actually heal. 3,000. And heal Aggie, because it's only a matter of time before this thing attacks. Oh, here we go. Unlucky, you've missed a lot of uh, being dying, so this is a good time to tune in, because I also might die right now as well. <laughs> we'll see what happens, though. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm here for the death. Alright, so we can try to... I really want to keep her at a distance. I just get this feeling. So we got hit earlier. Let's... Clear yourself all with the healing. Ouch, we felt that one. Okay, so Joshua, you're coming in all right, but your S craft right now isn't exactly what I would want to be using on him because it's a uh, like a molt, like an all group one rather than a single target. <laughs> right? I was like, did they just slow motion this attack on me? Ren, that's where I should have done the last fight, but somehow we eked it out, but I guess now, I sure hope that if I die, that they don't make me retry at the first battle, because the first battle seems like it was pretty lucky that I got through it. But we'll see what happens. Okay, Chloe, let's, let's get this going here. What have we got? Borrows the power of wind. No one needs that. Clock up, yikes. On my other damage dealer. Strength up. You know what? I might actually take this opportunity to use the beatdown with the uh, strength up. No. Never mind. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to wait for the crit turn to come up. Um, which they will be critting me and then uh, interrupt them. Keep it going. And 3,000 on Aggie. Yeah, let's do that. Well, then that'll be her taking that. So if I do this, she'll get the crit turn unless I interrupt that, maybe? I think that's what's happening. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, if she, you, I'd rather her do that than yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. I'm okay with this result. I was just more concerned that we'd end up uh, getting hit with a crit by the big robot that we're battling here for reasons nobody really understands at the second. We know taunt won't work. Stop it. Hmm. Heal yourself. Well, I should have just started at the top, huh? How many hit points does she have? 3,000. I wouldn't get away with that. 3,000 one. We still got the power up, um, and I think that his 
generic S craft is set to be on. Ah, it's still two turns. Let's do this. We'll double up. I'll do the regular attack and then I'll do the S craft while his strength is still up because I feel like that's going to fade soon. Okay. Okay, mm and you don't have any more of that, which would, which is fine. Um, Six thousand hit points left. Hit him. I probably should have Earth Guard Chloe, huh? I mean, in retrospect, dual strike again. Ah, so on time, not turns. So they last longer high levels since you get more turns. Oh, I, I think I see what you're saying. So since I'm going fa Okay, I, I, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I never would have conceptualized that that way, but yeah, that totally makes sense. Mm-hmm. But there's like an overall clock that's going. Let's. Um, what can we do? I mean, just in case. And you go ahead and heal yourself again. And you hit him. Detector Pikachu. That movie looks like it's going to be pretty funny, but I'll probably watch it when it comes, like, on TV, not DVD, on, like, iTunes or something. I still have to watch Into the Spider-Verse, and I, like, bought that on iTunes a long time ago. I knew this was coming. Glad I put that shell on. I had to try. Okay, so let's get a Curia on good old Aggie. And can we true dual strike again? There we go. <laughs> Chloe learned chain three skills I have not used this entire game. I killed a big robot. Grr, might as well be hacking at a rock. Uh oh, the cutscene says I didn't kill it. It's even more powerful than the one we fought beneath Grantsla Castle. How are you still not dead? I'm kind of wondering that myself. Fine, I'm bored now. Hater Mater, full output. Burn Estelle. Oh, thank you, Stardust. I appreciate it. We're going to be shutting it down relatively soon. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, yeah, The Walking Dead, right? Stardust is recording The Walking Dead, her, her playthrough. That's an excellent game. If you have time, you guys should check that out on her YouTube. It's reverted. The barrier has been dispelled. Uh, why now? Just a few more minutes and I could have burned you and made you cry and scream as I ripped out your guts with my bare hands. The telltale one. Not the extremely bad one. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, you know Cassius would come in at the last minute because he's a bad dad. Instead of letting his children get battered, he'd wait till the last minute to be a hero. Bad dad. I mean, that's pretty much all you got to play, Rainy. Season 1 was the high point of the Walking Dead Telltale series. But that's how life goes sometimes. I have to go back to the glorious now. Yeah, you're doing the right thing in Sky. The professor told me to come back once the beta served its purpose. You mean Weissman? Once the beta served its... So the tower's returning to normal as part of your plan? Maybe I didn't... Maybe I didn't ask for the details. 
but he did say the barriers around the towers were the Ariel's hands. The Ariel's, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? It makes you wonder. That's a real special girl. Well, bye bye. See you later. Oh, and next time we meet, I'll butcher you all. Okay, little girl. Seems like you're ready to be in a fighting game now. Trails in the sky. Mega mix. I'd play that fighting game. If Arc Systems did it. Guilty Gear slash Dragon Ball Fighters, people. I'd play a Trails in the Sky fighting game. Or Trails series in general, I should say. Well, we took out all the towers, so something has to happen. <laughs> oh, is there? I, hey, I'd probably play. I'd play that. From all reports, the society's Jaeger and mechanical forces in all regions have been driven back. Oh yeah, he's talking about Doug Funny. It's gotta be Doug Funny. We'll be maintaining alert status, but I think we'll be staying down from that ourselves soon. That's wonderful. What a friggin' day. Invasion's over, the weirdness at the towers has stopped. <laughs> Eggman's carrier. Guess we can finally take a break. One can hope at any rate. If only I could understand what the wet the enemy's plan was. You don't seem like you're in a party mood, Estelle. You upset about the kiddo? <laughs> Cuteness is justice. Yeah. I was just thinking, I was all on the righteous high horse without even knowing why she joined. I think I just made things worse. Estelle. I've always been kind of sheltered from the really nasty stuff in the world. So for me to try and say someone like her? Maybe it really was just a selfish dream. No, Estelle, I don't think so at all. Huh? Ren is, in the truest sense of the world, a genius. She's capable of understanding any information she comes across and can turn it to her advantage. She's capable, capable of adapting to any situation in her way, and she can control her surroundings perfectly. As far as I know, she was born with those abilities. Wow, I knew she was capable, but thinking about it, yeah, that's all true. Before, before the society took her in, she was in a horrible situation. Worse than what I went through in many ways. <laughs> Unlike me, though, her heart never really broke, at least not in the same way. At this point, adversity is just another obstacle to her. One she can overcome with guile or force. Rather than shutting down, she became as flexible as a snake. More so than any of us. Yeah, you, I mean, you could probably go ahead. I think Stardust has already left to do her recording, so probably not going to get spoiled, and I've definitely played through it. If someone else has got an issue with it, then spoil away. But hang on, even if she wasn't heartbroken or whatever, she's still... Oh, trust me, I agree. No matter how happy she might say she is, she's still obviously in pain. It may have been years ago, but in all my time with her, and it was a lot, I've never seen her get that worked up. I think your words reached part of her, part of Ren even she doesn't recognize. That's something only you could do. Joshua. Well, nuts, when you put it like that, how can I be depressed? First of all, Rainy, I mean, I hear you on that and all, but that dude, Doug, was so lame. I hated talking to him. It was so boring. So boring. I mean, yeah, she's got a gun. We might find some ammo. And if she's holding the gun, I mean... Doug just seemed like a nice guy and all. I mean, I want to take him on a camping trip or something. Just wait, Ren. Next time we meet, I'll get you to your real self.
you can do it. It was uh, Doug was at the very beginning when you're making the this or like near the beginning when you're inside the um, pharmacy. You can do it, Estelle. <laughs> Never gives up, does she? I uh, wouldn't be Estelle otherwise. But to the point of the designers, they definitely um, set it up um, for you to end up picking her because she had already had like a personal interaction with Lee prior to that. I think I think it's like she prior to that she busted into the back of the area and like, hey, I know who you are. So you already had like kind of a connection. Maybe they thought that would be a deterrent from picking her. I don't know. But Doug really just was like, hey, I'm a great guy. But kind of a weird shaped guy. Anyway, uh, that aside, what do we do now? I don't feel safe just cruising back to Grants without knowing that the society, what the society really was really up to. In that case, might I suggest a stop at Lyston Fortress. We can consult the General Bright as to what to do next. No, no, that the giant guy was the guy who was the father of the later lady. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like you, I think that the writers thought that that would make the people less likely to select her, but I don't think it really worked that way. To me, I felt more confidence with her because she knew and she hadn't spoken. Oh, good idea. I think that's for the best. Well then, Julia, please set a course for Lyston. By your command, Malik. Blast it all. Blast it. Grandpa? Professor, what's wrong? You seem really worked up. That data crystal you found in the tower? Capel just finished analyzing it. Uh, okay. Calm down, Professor. What was recorded on it? The function of the tetracyclic towers. You're right, in part. The four towers were built to keep the aureole sealed away in another dimension. I'm with Estelle on this one. Uh, hang on. What now? In another dimension? How in the world? Why in the... Wait a second. So the shadow towers were... Yes, I suspect you're among the first humans in the millennium to travel dimensionally. And the gospel's there. Yes, indeed. Conduits for the power of the shining ring. Okay. Weissman. What? Weissman? How in the hell? That man is that... I know, right? Like, hijacking the TV and the control arm as well. Eisen. How is he doing this without authorization? Leon, report. What's going on? I don't know, ma'am. I just noticed we received a transmission and then we lost control. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'd definitely like to be on TV if that was the case. I'm just fiddling around, making an expression. The TV's like, I'm going to follow this idiot. Forced computer entry. Hacking, some call it. Hey, Professor Russell says, some people call it hacking. I suppose having these advanced computers aboard the arse backfired on us. Aha, pleasure to make your acquaintance, Professor Russell. I can also see through the screen. <laughs> yes, it's just as you suppose. Maybe he's only hearing. Probably knows Professor Russell's voice. I must admit, surprised that you were able to realize such a system on your own. Though I suppose it's no surprise coming from a student of Epstein himself. Epstein himself. Hmm. As full of yourself as a balloon. I'll point out, Professor Weissman, that our flight controls are not networked to any other system. You won't be able to crash us or force us to open our doors or any other such harebrained nonsense. I wouldn't dream of it regardless. I simply wanted to contact you to ensure we are... You are properly informed and prepared. Make sure you know of the coming moment of glory. What? Moment of no. Uh, let me see. Given your position, the best place to, the best place to see it should be your foredeck. Uh oh. Good evening, then, everyone, and welcome to the new age. Joshua. Let's go get to the deck. This may not go as well as we'd like. Where? Best scene from the foredeck. There. Iceman out. 
Roger that. Uh, I haven't had to do this for this game at all, have I? Yet one big move. What? <laughs> That's it. It must be that flying city. Yes, it must be. That's it. That's the arse. Wait, the Ariola, not the arse. Hells. This music. This is like the second time in the past two days I've thought about the Valum Garden Ring. Captain Swartz, land the ship now. Pardon, Professor? We have emergency orders from Cassius, right? If you don't hurry, it'll be too late for all of us. Very well. Oops, more cutscene. Marvelous. My goodness. Haha, <laughs> holy hell, that's something. Isn't it just wonderful? Ah, uh, that's astounding. Now I understand why you were making such a big deal out of it. Ah, uh, it's nice to see that all of you understand its worth. The RL itself had long been sealed away in another dimension. Despite this, it's always been possible for it to influence our own dimension through the Gospels, which acts as terminals. There was just one problem. We had no access to the originals, and so we were forced to create replicas. Only the most accurate would do any less, and the Ariel would have remained forever unattainable. After much trial and error, we managed to successfully create perfect replicas. These true gospels finally allowed the Ariel to remove the shackles that restricted its power. And so here it is, returned from the dark abyss in which it was sealed. That was the purpose of stage three of the plane, I assume? <laughs> Indeed. My comrades in arms, thanks to your labor, the third stage is complete. And now our plan moves into its final stage. Dun dun dun. Yeah. It's like final dungeon time. And, um, I think we know what this streams to us. This is a little loud still. Let that play in the background a little bit. Um, that we've done our time. Stop it. It's just annoying in my ears. Um, as usual, and I will always say this, thank you all for joining and hanging out with me. It's been a real pleasure. This has been a good stage, and I'm glad that we got past those boss battles. I was super concerned that we'd end up in a situation where I couldn't do make it do what it do, and I'm um, and end up, you know, stuck on that particular boss. So rather than that happening, we got through it, and I'm happy. Um, it looks like I think this is the that chapter eight's the last chapter. Not certain on that, but um, either way you look at it, all good. 
as I will always say, everybody should, I mean, if you want, join the Discord. Nobody likes to have another one of those things on their list of Discord, so it is what it is. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. That means Lost Odyssey. And um, 